Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite black owned makeup brands and products. A lot of people have been doing this video lately and actually people have been doing this video for years. Honestly, I wish I had done it sooner, but I am doing it now. I really think if you want to see a change in the world, I think action is the most important. So anything you can do, whether it is something small, I do think it makes a difference. Um, some things that I've done lately, signing petitions, donating money to a very funds, charities, and also, you know, spreading the word. And another thing I think we can do is also to support black owned businesses and in the beauty industry, that would be black owned makeup brands. And I think we all know that representation in the beauty industry has not been as great for, you know, products and also a lot of influencers. So I think that is an issue as well. I will list some resources in the description box of this video along with lots of other YouTubers that have done similar videos. And also my friend Karen Harris, she created a playlist all about black owned makeup brands. So check that out. All of that is going to be in the description box and some petitions that you could sign or places that you could donate money. And yeah, one other thing I do want to highlight before I get into the products is something that I joined on Instagram. This was created by Panda Replay or Elise, and she created something called the Panners Blackout. And this is supposed to be basically for two weeks in June, not buying unessential items except from black owned businesses. I have joined in on that. Check out her Instagram. I will link that in the description box because she does go into more detail. Something else that I am doing for the month of June and July is I'm only going to buy makeup from black owned brands. So yeah, I think any small thing you can do, I do think it adds up and that's the best way to see a change in the world, honestly. So I'm going to be mentioning some products along the way that I'm also interested in buying. So yeah, let's just get into the video. I'll just start with Juvia's Place. It's definitely a well-known brand. I mean, it's sold in Ulta now, which is great. And if you've been watching my channel, I love their eyeshadow formula. Um, I just brought over two of the palettes, but I think I have seven or eight. And this is a brand I've been talking about a lot on my channel. So in the description box, I'm going to link some other Juvia's Place videos I've done, including I ranked all of my Juvia's palettes. Today, I'm wearing a combo of these two palettes. This is one of their mini palettes in the berries. I've done a review on this video or this palette. And that's the color all over my lid today. I love their formula. Their metallics are amazing. So they have a lot of these monochromatic type palettes that are $15. And then they have this size of palette. This one is the Warrior 3. And I am wearing the matte shades, these three today in the crease and the outer corner. I've done a review on this palette as well. These nine pan palettes cost $20 and they recently released a palette that has more eyeshadows with smaller pans. I think that one is $36. So they have a variety there, but their price point is fantastic. And like I said, one of my favorite formulas, the metallics are so bold and out of this world. Absolutely love it. And on my wish list is actually their stick foundation. Amy Loves Makeup, who did a similar video. I'll link it in the description box. She really loves their stick foundation. And that is something I plan on purchasing at some point. I did try their liquid foundation. And unfortunately for my skin type, it did not work out very well because it really accentuated my lines and pores. But I have heard good things about the stick foundation. So that is something I definitely want to purchase. Oh, and also their concealer as well. I want to try that too. All right, the next brand is Ace Beauté. I have two palettes from them and I've raved about these a lot on my channel also. I have the Slice of Paradise. This is a very colorful rainbow palette. I have hit pan on two of the shades. This formula is a little different than Juvia's because this is more powdery and I do think that their shimmer formula definitely requires a wet brush. But when you do spray your brush with these metallics, they are like liquid metal. It's insane. I absolutely love this one. And then the other one I have, this was actually in BoxyCharm. This is the Vintage Dawn palette. Amazing, absolutely love it. Yesterday's video was ranking my eyeshadow palette collection video and these two palettes ranked very high in that. And yes, amazing, love this formula. Easy to blend and very, very pigmented. 
All right, next up, I'm gonna talk about Fenty Beauty. It's obviously a very well-known brand. Rihanna is partial owner of the brand. Um, I do think actually a major corporation owns the majority of it, but she is still a part owner and creator. And I do have two of the Fenty Snap Shadows. I don't use these that much. I've talked about these on my channel, but they are very good. But honestly, I would recommend some of these other eyeshadow formulas that I'm going to be talking about over these, but they are very good. And these little palettes are $25. This though I love and I wanna get more colors. This is the Gloss Bomb and I have the one in Diamond Milk. This is essentially a clear gloss, but I really wanna buy one of, there's a couple pinky shades now that they have. It is such a nice formula. It is very smooth. If you don't like sticky lip gloss, I do think you would like this, although it has a pretty strong fruity smell and taste, which I actually like that. It actually reminds me of those lip smackers things that chapsticks and glosses that I used when I was like eight years old. But yes, giant doe foot applicator, such a smooth formula. This is $18 and I think it's well worth it and I really wanna buy more. The next two items are newer to my collection, but I just wanted to go ahead and include them because like I said, I am trying to try more black owned brands and this one is the Lip Bar and this is sold at Target. This gloss is fantastic. I've worn this a couple of times already. This is the color First Lady and their packaging is really cool. I like this cage looking thing. I think that's really nice. And these glosses, I think they're about $10. So it's kind of like a mid-range brand, which I do really like that type of price point. And this color is so pretty. It's kind of mauve and rosy all at the same time. Very smooth. Like I said, I've worn this one several times. Not sticky at all. This is one of those more pigmented type glosses. Not quite as shiny, but very, very comfortable. I really, really do like that. And then the other new brand that I've recently tried, this is Mented Cosmetics. And I gotta say, they had a lot of stuff that I wanted to purchase. One of the things I really wanted to get is they have a really beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette, but I am currently on an eyeshadow no buy. I've decided I have way too much eyeshadow, so I won't be buying eyeshadows for a while. So I did get their gloss, and this is in Send Nudes. And this is really, really nice as well. It's, it looks more sheer than it does in the tube and it's a brown color. Again, this is not sticky at all and I am wearing this today in combination with what I'll be talking about next and that is Pat McGrath. So this gloss is dare to bear. I combined these because I wanted a pinky brown. So yes, that is what I created there. Again, very smooth, non-sticky formula. This, I, this costs $15, so a little bit more expensive, but yeah, this is a new brand to me, so yes, I'm excited to try some more brands out. All right, let's go into Pat McGrath, and she is an internationally known makeup artist, and her makeup line, Pat McGrath Labs, I gotta say, I'm in love. I've been talking about it a lot in the last few months. It's something I was very hesitant to purchase because it is very expensive and luxury, but honestly, now that I've tried her products, I'm sold and I'm willing to pay the price. Although, I gotta say, if you are gonna try her products, I would recommend trying to order from her site because A, she has incredibly fast shipping and there are a lot of sales. I bought two different orders, I think in April, and they had another sale in May. I resisted that one, but they had some stuff between 20 and 30% off. Way better deals than you're gonna find on Sephora, so I would recommend signing up for the email list from Pat McGrath if you're interested in her products. Um, her lip liners, I think these are worth the price. They are $28. I am wearing contour today. This one is probably one of the more talked about colors. It is a lightish brown type shade and I also have another one. What is this one called? Buff. This one is more of a pinky type color. There is buff right there. This is such a nice formula. It is a bit sticky when you first put it on the lips, but I think that is because it is so long lasting. I've never met a lip uh, liner formula that is this long lasting. Well worth the $28 in my opinion. Um, something else that I love from her is her glosses. They are so luxurious, so smooth, and so shiny. Like I said, I have this one mixed with that other lip gloss that I mentioned. 
Um, I did want to mention, I talked about this in another video, the difference between her full-size glosses are $28. This color, by the way, is Bronze Divinity. Gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And then they have these mini sets where you can get three minis for $25. This is $28. And here you get 0.17 fluid ounces and these are 0.05 fluid ounces. So for $25, you get three colors. They are small though, they're 0.05 ounces, but size wise, I mean, they still look luxurious and the cap is the same luxurious label. So I do like that when people, when brands create minis, but they're still good quality, you know, similar packaging. I feel like these earrings have fallen out of my ears multiple times while I've been filming videos. I don't know what is going on. Let me swatch this one. Um, this is a light peachy pink that is dare to bear. Oh, and I talked about this before in another video. One of my favorite lip gloss applicators ever. This curve is so nice, fits on the lips and it is so soft, one of the softest doe foots. And the doe foot is the same quality on the full size and the mini, which I really, really like. And Bronze Divinity, this one is so gorgeous. One of my favorite glosses ever. Kind of like a beige with a bit of flecks of gold, but her shimmery glosses, they don't feel chunky or anything on the lips. They are really smooth. So really in love with that. And then also her eyeshadows. I love her eyeshadows. Now it is a different formula and it takes some getting used to, I found. Um, she does have these larger palettes, which are the Mothership palettes. These are $125. Like I said, I would recommend trying to get these on sale. This is very expensive, but you are partially paying for the very intense, luxurious packaging. This is the Mothership 2. These glittery shades over here are fantastic. I've talked about this palette a lot on my channel, but I do really do love that one. Um, okay, but I would say if you wanna try Pat McGrath, but you don't wanna spend as much, I do recommend these mini palettes. The quality is fantastic. These are $28 each and they are a little hard to open. <laughs> the packaging is definitely a bit cheapy feeling, but I don't really care about that. I care about the quality of the eyeshadows and I'd rather pay less, honestly. So this one is the Eye Ecstasy in Subversive. You get more colorful shades there. And then there is a more neutral one, the Mini Eye Ecstasy in Sublime. These are amazing. I've talked about these a lot. The quality I think is there. And these were on sale very recently for super cheap, but unfortunately I do think that the sale is over. However, I really like everything I've tried from Pat McGrath and I definitely want to try more. All right, last up is Colored Rain. And like I said, I am definitely planning on trying more brands, including Beauty Bakery that is sold at Ulta, um, Oma Beauty that's also sold at Ulta, and I made an order from JD Glow. That is on the way, haven't gotten it yet, but I've heard fantastic things about their products. But Colored Rain, this eyeshadow palette, the Queen of Hearts, it's very well known. This definitely had a while where it was one of the most talked about palettes on YouTube. And it's so good. This formula, so pigmented, blends well. The metallics are gorgeous. I really love this palette. I was actually wearing this a few days ago in my empties video, if you saw that. This is just fantastic. I think this is $42. Um, they also have some pretty good sales on their website. I actually got this on Black Friday for only $18, which is absolutely crazy and it's fantastic. Um, I did recently purchase a liquid lipstick from them also. These are also sold at Target and it's a pretty limited line what they sell at Target. They don't have the eyeshadow palettes, at least not that I saw, but they have some liquid lipsticks and a few other things. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this liquid lipstick. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram stories, I think yesterday of me wearing this. And this is the color Mars. And liquid lipsticks can definitely be uncomfortable, but I actually think this formula is very comfortable. And I actually wore it with the First Lady gloss on top. They're pretty similar. The gloss is slightly lighter. These layered well together very, very nicely. I've actually worn that combo a couple of times now, and I really do like it. So I think these are $16, but 
Yeah, I think this is a really comfortable liquid lipstick formula, which can be a little bit difficult to find. Alrighty, that is it for this video. Like I said, there are a lot more brands that I want to try, and I'm very excited for that JD Glow order I have on the way. A lot of people have been posting lists of Black-owned makeup brands on Instagram, and there are so many brands that I want to try. So if you've tried other ones, please, please let us know. Or if you have some favorites from the brands that I have mentioned, let us know. Please check the description box. There's going to be a lot of information there, like I said, regarding other organizations and petitions and a lot of other YouTubers as well. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.